Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about clocked JK latch. Clocked JK latch. In the previous video, we have seen clocked SR latch. In the similar way, clocked JK latch is also going to be designed. But JK latch consisting of SR latch as a part. Okay. JK latch, JK or flip flop JK latch is completely constructed based on the SR latch. Based on the SR latch. Already we know the JK, Johnson and Kelby latch or flip flop has been arrived to avoid the drawback in the SR flip flop or SR latch. What is the drawback in the SR latch or SR flip flop? When both the inputs are, suppose if it is a hack to high flip flop or a latch, then if, when both S and R are zeros, then the previous state is the output. When both an S and R are ones, then the output is nothing but an in, indeterminate state. When S and R are is equal to one, then the output Q and Q bar, Q is equal to one and Q bar is also equal to one. So this is nothing but a false statement. When Q is equal to one, the Q bar should be zero. When Q is equal to zero, the Q bar should be one. That is the actual statement. But because of the problem inside the S and R latch that gives you both ones or both zeros. That is the problem inside the S latch. So to avoid this drawback, drawback, we are going for the JK. So JK in JK, what we have considered just the same circuit. Additionally, we have considered a feedback from the output. So Q bar is connected as third input for this NAND gate and Q is connected as the third input for this below NAND gate. Okay, except that remaining everything is common what we have studied in the previous case. Okay, now this is the NAND SR, nothing but SR latch. This is SR latch, a memory element where the data is to be stored. Okay, so in front of this, we have taken one NAND gate with three inputs. One is J, another one is the clock signal. And the third one is nothing but the feedback. Another NAND gate is also having K and clock as the inputs and the output uh, output of the J, uh, SR latch is connected as the input. Okay, so this is the construction of this JK latch. And the same can be simply construct, uh, just shown with a block as JK latch, J and K, clock as the input. The same can be elaborated inside which we are having a NAND. See here we have shown NAND based SR latch. So this NAND based SR latch already we know two NAND gates are cross coupled. This is the diagram. This is that diagram. Okay. Hope you understand. Now, how this particular JK latch is going to be operated? JK latch. See, whenever we say latch is nothing but a level triggered. Whenever we say latch, it is nothing but a level triggered. So latch is nothing but latch is nothing but a level triggered level triggered device or a memory element or a memory element we can say level triggered flip flop edge triggered flip flop level triggered flip flops are there it is nothing but level triggered that means when clock is equal to when clock is equal to either high or clock is equal to either low the circuit the flip flop response the flip flop response this is what the latch is okay suppose if it is a flip flop then it has to respond for either rising edge or falling edge. So here it is working on levels, rising edge, uh, level, uh, high level or low level. But if it is a flip flop, then edge triggered is there. Edge triggered flip flop is there. Edge triggered, so rising edge or falling edge. Rising edge or falling edge. Only at the rising edges and falling edges, if it is having any change, that will be considered and remaining cases will not be considered. Suppose during the uh, high level, if any change occurs, that will not be noted. Okay. Now coming to the operation of this JK latch. 
clock based uh, clocked JKLH. See when J and K are zeros, when J and K are zeros, as we know, if the previous state is zero, then the output is zero. If the previous state is one, then output is one. That means when both zeros as the inputs here, when zero zero is applied and clock is high, see all the operations here, all the entire operation is explained when clock is equal to one. Entire operation is explained when clock is equal to one. When clock is equal to zero, what happens? There is no output. Okay, simply, simply the same previous state will be continued. Previous state will be continued. Okay. So when clock is equal to 1, the circuit comes into operation when uh, then uh, we are considering the JK flip-flop operation. So when 0, 0, previous state is continued. So Q is equal to 0 and Q bar is equal to 1. And we know S is equal to 1, R equal to 1 because it is SR latch. The second part is SR latch. Here it will be 1 and it will be 1 after passing through this first NAND gate operation. So that gives you the output 0 and 1. Okay. Here we have assumed the previous state is 0. See, this is the previous state. This is the previous state. Okay. So as the previous state is 0, output is 0. If it is the previous state is 1, output is 1. Okay. So as the same state is retained, we can call that operation as a hold state old state nothing but it gives you the output as previous state whatever the previous state says the same state will come as the output now change the k to high so j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 1 as j is equal to 0 and k equal to 1 again same situation every time we are taking the situations where when uh, uh, previous state is 0 what happens and when previous state is 1 what happens See when 0, 1 is the previous state because why previous state is always considered because previous state based on the previous state only the third input will come. Okay, J input is 0 and now K input is 1. Already we know clock is equal to 1. What about this third input? Third input is the assumed one. So whatever the previous state we have assumed that will be taken care. So 0, 1. So 0, here it is applied 0 and 1. So it is 1. Okay, so based on that yes and latch already we know NOR operation and operation everything we know. We have studied in the switching theory and logic design. So based on that the output of yes and R are 1 1. So that the output is 0 1. 0 1. If it is 1, if it is 1, again the S and R are 1 zeros. So Q and plus 1 is 0 and it is 1. So output is resets to 0. Output is resets to 0. This is the original output and this is complemented output. So output is equal to 0 because the complete latch is reset. Complete latch is reset. So reset to 0. Reset to 0. You have to understand one thing that the output resets to 0 whatever may be the previous state. Whatever may be the previous state. If the previous state is 0, output is 0. Even if the previous state is 1, output is 0. So whatever may be the previous state, simply the output is 0. That's why it is reset state. Now coming to the third case, j is now 1 and k is equal to 0. So k is equal to, j is equal to 1. Now it is 1 and it is 0. Okay, again assume the previous states as 0 and 1. Then let us see the inputs for the S and R are 0 1 and here it is 1 1 when a previous state is 1. So if you again take the operation of NAND gates then the output is 1 0 and again it is 1 0. What happens now it is sets to 1. Setting is nothing but making the output to high. Resetting is nothing but making the output to 0. So whatever may be the previous state, whether it is whether the previous state is 0 or 1, the output is simply sets to 1. The output is simply sets to 1. That's why this state is called setting state, set state. 
now coming to the last state where the sr latch is failed 1 1 1 1 so in this case both j and k are ones and the previous state we have assumed either 0 1 and clock is also 1 so then the inputs for the s and r are here it is 0 1 and here it is 1 0 depending upon the previous states okay if the previous state is 0 here it is 1 if the previous state is 1 1 what happens all 3 are ones so nand gate nand gate inputs all 3 are ones so clock equal to 1 j is equal to 1 and previous state is equal to 1 simply the output is 0 nand operation output is 0 now if the see here carefully observe this i am marking in the red color when j and k are one ones in the sr latch the output is an indeterminate state because because both q and q bar are ones but as j and k are ones here if input previous input is zero the output is one if previous input is one the output is zero if previous input is 0, output is 1. If previous input is 1, output is 0. So that means what happens? It is inverting the previous state. That state is nothing but toggle state. That state is nothing but toggle state. Toggling is nothing but changing 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. This is the advantage of JK flip flop and as it avoids the a problem of SRLH, JK, JK flip flop is commonly preferred over SRLH. Okay, this is what the JK flip flop. Again, the same circuits we can implement with the CMOS uh, in the digital logic design as everything is going made up of transistors, CMOS transistors. This NAND gates is simply, all these four NAND gates are simply constructed by using CMOS NAND logic because we already know how the CMOS NAND gate is going to be constructed. The same can be used here for the implementation of this JKLH. Okay. Thank you.